Welcome to another Brightwell Dispensers installation video. Today I'm going to guide you through how to install an Eco Multi standard dispenser. This installation is also largely applicable to our whole Eco Multi range. The Eco Multi is a chemical proportioner that dilutes up to four chemicals. There's a dial system here at the bottom to choose one of four chemicals. This video will guide you through the complete installation process. Initially, you'll have to remove all the accessories in the unit from the box. I've done this here beforehand to make it easier for this video. To begin the installation process, you'll first have to remove the cover from the unit using the key provided in the accessory pack. Once you've removed the front cover, you'll see the internal assembly of the unit. This particular one is a low flow version intended for spray bottles. The next thing to do is to unclip the non-return valves from the bottom of the back plate. Like so. Then you need to release these retaining clips within the back plate and that will allow the internal assembly to come away. Like so. That leaves you with the back plate ready for the installation. So now I'm going to show you how to fix the dispenser to the wall. Screws and wall plugs are provided as part of the accessory pack. You'll notice in the back plate there is a handy spirit level. There are also multiple mounting holes to give you lots of options of where you need to drill. So you need to choose your drilling holes. You can do this using the back plate or there is a drilling template provided with the instructions. Today, I'm going to be using the back plate to determine my holes. I happen to have pre-drilled my holes already, just to aid the speed of installation. The other thing you'll need to do, if you're using it as a spray bottle version, is to position the bottle bracket correctly at the back of the dispenser on this rib section. So I'm going to click that in place, ready to go. Then you'll need to use screw fixings on the bottle bracket to attach it securely to the wall. So once you've attached the back plate onto the wall, I also recommend that you screw in place the bottle bracket itself. Then you can attach the foot plate onto the bottle bracket. The next thing you need to do is to decide on the direction of the water inlet. So this particular valve is set up to take the water inlet from the right of the dispenser. I'm going to change it so that it comes in from the left. To do this, you'll need to remove the retaining pins with some pliers. Please just pull off nice and simply, like so. Then you'll need to remove the end cap, which can be done with just a quick twist of a flat bladed screwdriver and then the water in that on the other side, and then simply swap those over, replace the end cap, and replace the retaining pins. Next thing to do is to hook the inlet valve onto the top of the back plate, like so, and then just push down and click into place, nice and secure. Now you need to adjust the dilution ratios that you wish to use with your chemicals. You will need to follow manufacturer's guidelines to determine the ratio of chemical to water that you wish to use. Once you've determined the ratio to use, you can refer to our reference guide provided as part of the instructions, and this will show you which dilution ratios correspond to which letters on the dilution pins. So, what you'll need to do is pull out the dilution clips. Then with a short pull, you can pull out the dilution pin, which then allows you to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate this to the letter D, which corresponds to 13 to one for purposes of this installation video. So once D is lined up with the indicator, I then push in the dilution pin. Then once that's done, I'll return the dilution clip and that secures that in place. 
there are two options for chemical entry within the dispenser. Chemical entry can come from below or it can come from the sides. For this demonstration, we're going to do it from below. So to do that, you need to replace the non-return valves into the back plate and you simply click in place in the brackets shown at the bottom. You need to be careful to line up the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 anti-clockwise on the dial assembly with numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 from left to right on the back plate. Next thing to do is to attach the outlet tube. This one's for a spray bottle, given that we're using a low flow version. Obviously make sure the arrows are pointing downward. Should you be using a high flow version, you also need to consider whether you want to use the lock function. Uh, to do that, you'll need to remove the locking pin on the back of the cover. So the next step is to replace the front cover. Just clicks into place. Then attach the water mains. Then we can attach our clear PVC tubes for chemical inlet. So these just push into place on the non return valves at the bottom of the dispenser. Then for each of the chemical inlet tubes, you need to attach a weight onto the tube and insert a foot filter at the bottom. Finally, using the pictograms supplied within the instructions, attach these to the front of the unit to correspond with the chemicals and the descriptions of the chemicals that you're using. So now we've added our chemical pictograms and we've connected up our chemicals. The water mains has been turned on and we're ready to test it. There we go.